parallelogram law let's take an example of boat crossing the river imagine that you have to cross the flowing river you have to reach point b from your current position point a when you get on the boat and start to row you intend to reach point b on the other side but as the river is flowing towards the right side it will affect your motion in the end you cross the river but instead of reaching point b you will reach point c what has happened here parallelogram law helps us in understanding this problem your driving force is considered as force p and the river force towards the right is considered as q then parallelogram law tells us that if we take these force vectors as adjacent sides of a parallelogram and complete the parallelogram then the diagonal will give the direction of resultant the same thing has happened here combined effect of both the forces made the boat to reach point c the magnitude of this resultant can be found out using a simple formula that is r equals square root of p square plus q square plus 2 pq into cos theta and the angle of resultant with horizontal force alpha can be found out using another simple formula which is alpha equals tan inverse of q sin theta divided by p plus q sin theta this is about parallelogram law and it helps us in analyzing and compositing forces quickly